You use these powerful math rules every single day. You just don't know their names yet. Let's change that. Let's start with the commutative property. You can swap the order and get the same result. It works for addition and multiplication. Remember, it works for addition and multiplication, but not for subtraction or division. Try it. 5 minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus 5. Next is the associative property. How you group things doesn't change the sum or product. Whether you add the first two numbers first or the last two numbers first, the answer is the same. This is the secret weapon for mental math. Take 2 times 14 times 5. It might be smarter to multiply 2 times 5 first to get 10. This is the coolest one, the distributive property. A number outside the parentheses can distribute itself to everything inside. See? 3 times 4 plus 2 is the same as 3 times 4 plus 3 times 2. You get 18 either way. This is the fundamental concept behind algebra and beyond. Have you ever wished you had an undo button in real life? In math, you actually do. It's called the inverse property. Picture this. You have seven balloons, but then you let go of seven balloons. How many balloons are you holding now? Zero. That's because seven plus negative seven equals zero. The inverse of a number is what you add to get back to zero. For addition, the inverse is adding the opposite. For multiplication, it's multiplying by its reciprocal. Take two for instance. Now multiply it by one half. The inverse of a number is what you multiply to get back to 1. This property works for every number except 0. Remember when it comes to the inverse property, it's what you add to get to 0 and what you multiply by to get to 1. It's your secret shortcut. But why are 0 and 1 so important when it comes to math? Have you ever wondered, what happens when you add 0 to a number or multiply a number by 1? Welcome to the identity property, one of math's coolest secrets. Let's start with addition. Imagine 5 apples on a counter. Add 0 apples. How many now? Still 5. Now multiplication. You invite 3 dinner guests and they all RSVP a single. 3 times 1 is still 3. The identity property is like a friendly helper. It keeps numbers the same when you use 0 for addition and 1 for multiplication. The identity property. Keeping numbers true to themselves. These are the rules that make math consistent and predictable. Now you know the names of the tools you've been using your whole life. Which of these properties is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Share this video with someone who is interested in learning more about math concepts and subscribe for more math-related content. Until next time, remember that math isn't magic. It's everywhere.